Hey guys, it's Erin. I'm back for another vlog and today is day 14 of Ramadan. We are two weeks in and going strong. Anna Saima, I hope you are too. And for today's iftar, it's going to be a very, very easy meal that my kids love, but it's simple. And I'm even making it more simple today because don't hate me, but I'm not making my own sauce. It's a very rainy day out here. Let me show you it. This is the current weather in Morocco, in Wefak, Tamara. It's okay though, because we need the rain and we are being blessed with rain. So because of this rain, um, I forgot to go to get uh, tomatoes and such. So I am using, don't hate me, I can't even show you my face when I say this, but I'm making it with sauce. Now I may be using jar sauce, but I am using bougie bar jar sauce. I got this in, actually, I don't even remember where I got it. Oh, wait, I got this in Spain. I got this in Spain at the Aldi's. So we are going to use jar sauce. But like I said, I had a pretty busy day today. I really don't feel like being out here making my own sauce tonight. I promise, inshallah, one day I will show you how I make my homemade tomato sauce. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make this pasta, meat, and sauce, garlic bread. Kids are going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. And let me show you how it's done. So here is our ingredients. I got a nus kilo. Nus means half. So I got a half kilo of ground beef, which was 51 dirhams, which is about uh, $5.10 US dollars. These are actually expensive where I got them. You can get them at the Hanuk for one dirham, which is 10 cents. But I paid three and a half dirhams. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Again, I got the spaghetti sauce from Spain, from the Aldi's. Pasta from Marjan, and then here's our spices. We got parsley, onion, um, garlic, salt, oregano, and pepper. And we're gonna cook up this meat, and we're gonna boil the pasta and make our stuff. And let's see how it goes. All right, don't ask me why his bed is right there where I have to cook. <laughs> what? Who is so cute? Who is the cutest little kitten ever? He definitely has an ear infection. He shakes his head. He's going tomorrow, guys. For sure going tomorrow. The vet has an urgent thing today, so he's going tomorrow. What? Who's the cutest thing? Who's the cutest thing? All right, so we break up the meat. I feel like this is for beginners. Like, if you know how to cook, you probably don't even need to watch this. It's so easy to make this. And like I said, my kids love it, especially with some garlic bread that I make. It will be gone. Now, another idea that you can do that's similar to what I'm making, but you can make it into a baked dish, is you go ahead and make this like you do. But then you take regatta cheese and you mix a container of regatta cheese with shredded mozzarella cheese, as well as an egg and some parsley. Mix that up really good. Make your pasta. Combine the pasta, the sauce, and the meat all together. Put a layer of the pasta down with the sauce. And you put regatta, a layer of regatta on top. Put another layer of the pasta and sauce. And then you sprinkle with mozzarella cheese and you have a baked rigatoni. And it's amazing, amazing, amazing. I'll make that another time, but that's my favorite. But the kids don't really like regatta cheese, so I'm just making it this way. All right, we're gonna season our meat now. Garlic. I measure with my heart. I like a lot of garlic. Onion. Now I know, I know I could be using fresh, but this is all about an easy, easy meal for me, guys, okay? Onion. Parsley. Like I said, just use your heart. And your nose. I like to smell. I like to smell my food while it's cooking, and I can tell if it's going to be good. Oregano. Okay, that might be a little bunch. Pepper. And 
And last but not least, salt. And then we're gonna mix it around, get that all cooked. And as you can see, this is why I don't like doing videos, cooking. I am such a mess with my cooking. Don't worry, I clean it all up. All right, we're gonna get this cooking, mixed together, smelling really good. And then we're gonna boil our pasta. I decided to get higher up. So I guess you could see me. What are you doing? Are you the king? Are you the king? Huh, we need a name for you. We need a name for you, little man. Oh, your poor little ear. We're gonna get you all better tomorrow. And then simply, we just add the sauce. Now, it may look like a lot of sauce right now compared to the meat, but remember, remember, pasta is gonna be added to this. It will actually, probably for leftovers, it will probably need a little bit more sauce because you know pasta soaks up the sauce. And then we just take this, mix it all around. I know you're like, oh my God, there's a lot of sauce, but I promise you, it's gonna be good. All right guys, I just put the water on to boil. And while the water is boiling, we're gonna go out into the other room and I'm gonna show you what I got at Procoma to help the mess, to help combat the mess of the cat litter with the five cats, soon to be six, because right now, right now, he, he, <laughs> he is in here for now. But soon he will be with the other ones and we need to do something so that I don't have such a mess with them kicking the cat litter. So I got something to help fix that and I'm gonna show you what I got. All right guys, so while the, the pasta is cooking, I wanted to come out here and show you what I'm gonna do here. So this is partially done. I had these down here, this is like AstroTurf kind of, but obviously it's three small ones and it's not working out. So we went to, I went to Bercoma today. I got a big piece of AstroTurf and we're gonna lay this down here so there's no mess when they kick the stuff. I can vacuum it up really easily. So this is what we're gonna do. Make sure there's no cats in here. There's no cats in here. One. Nobody can go to the bathroom right now. Cats. All right, so first we're gonna get rid of these. These have definitely seen a lot of use. The cats cannot obviously just let me do this. They're going to be in the way. They're going to want to play with whatever I'm doing. All right, so these are trash. We're going to sweep up the area. And this, hopefully, putting the new AstroTurf down will now make it so I don't have to sweep because it will be covered and I should be able to vacuum it up. The cleaning lady just came here two days ago and I've swept every day. These cats love to kick this stuff. All right, of course I didn't bring the dustpan in with me. They'll probably play in this mess. All right, we'll sweep that up in a second. All right, I think this may be too big I think I got it bigger than I needed, but if there is, if it is too big, then I will get, put it in my room too, because I have a cat in here. Wait, Ray, you want to help? Okay, yeah, this is definitely bigger than I thought it was. No, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, definitely too big. We will cut it down a little bit. I want to make sure it's like right up against the wall. It's not very even. 
right. And now we'll put the cat litter boxes back. I have a third cat litter box, which I will now be using since I got more of this stuff. Where did I put the scissors? All right, let's cut this down. Freya! Come over here, look at her. Freya! You like it? All right, let me cut it right. I think we'll cut it right here. This is so hard to cut. I wish I had a razor blade. My hands hurt. These are horrible scissors. All right, there we go. Now I gotta sweep up that mess. I wonder if this is actually gonna be a mess, this grass. I mean, I had something similar in America and it wasn't. But these are Moroccan cats. Three of them are Moroccan cats, and they are a little crazy. Oh, look at him. He's already trying to scratch it. All right, now we'll put the other one here. And then we'll put the third one. Where is the third one? More scissors. Freya is the one that is immediately in the cat litter box as soon as it gets clean. So she's probably like, oh, did you just clean it? I did clean it earlier today. I don't think to do it again. She will probably go in this one immediately. Watch out, Freya. It's 65 dirhams, which is about $6.50 US dollars. It's decent, but I swear nothing clumps like American cat litters. But this is the best one I've found that I like. All right, who's gonna be the first one in the fresh new litter box? This is a nice litter box, this one. All right, let's see how this works now. Let's see who goes in it. Who's the first one to go in? What? Come on, Freya, you gonna go? She's cautious. You guys want to see it? Nobody's, they're scared of it. Finny, look at Finny. Finny's interested, but he doesn't know what to do. Oh, there we go, we got our first one. For, no, uh, Odin, you don't need to go in there with her. They will go in the bathroom at the same time, it's so weird. Okay, we don't need to watch her. This is our new setup. Let's fingers crossed that it will keep the cat litter much cleaner because it will be on here and not tracked all over. But I think this is not bad. This big piece of AstroTurf cost 355 dirhams, I believe, which is approximately $35.50 in US dollars, which is very cheap because this is not cheap in general. All right, guys, that is a setup. Let's go. You stopped it again? No. You stop it now? No. No, stop it. This big piece of AstroTurf cost 355 dirhams, I believe, which is approximately $35.50 in US dollars, which is very cheap because this is not cheap in general. All right, so let's go back and check on our pasta and get ready for iftar. Always salt. I don't remember really how much. Oh, let's put our pasta in.
This one-handed stuff is hard, guys. People say, oh, you don't work. Have you ever tried to make a video using one hand and cooking? Yeah, this is hard. And I am a firm believer in you don't waste more things to wash. So guess what? I never try to use too many dishes, especially like these ones. Guys, see, this is why, guys, I can't even do this with it. All right, we're gonna let that boil, get tender, and then we will mix it together. All right, guys, my kids absolutely love garlic bread, and garlic bread is so simple to make. We got this, we got our butter, and we got our garlic. Come over here so you can see it closer. So you literally just take your bread, have it, you get your spreader, by the way, this is American, for those that know the brand Pampered Chef. I was never really into Pampered Chef, but there are a few things I couldn't live without, one of them being the spreader. I did bring things from America here, like kitchenware, not pots and pans, but like little gadgets like this. I also brought like random things like hangers. I'm actually glad I brought hangers here because hangers are actually very expensive and they don't come in giant packs. All right, so you just take your butter and you drop it on your shoe like that. That's exactly, you must do that for it to work. You put the butter on here. Lots of butter because it melts. Don't worry, we're not gonna use all this on that one. I like to spread it, like, oh, maybe we will. You guys know this is all gonna melt in. I'll take the extras right here. This one too. Make sure it's really coated in the butter. The more butter, the better. And then you literally just take your garlic powder and you come over to the sink because this is sometimes messy. Don't look in my sink. And you just sprinkle. That is one. Then we put him in the oven. I don't know why he's sleeping right here. It's not a good spot. We put it in. Let's put the other one. That one's got extra garlic. No problem with extra garlic and extra butter. Absolutely no. So about five minutes in the oven and you've got perfect, easy garlic bread. So we're just waiting for the noodles. Let me see if they're done yet. Okay, the noodles are done. Let's drain these. All right, we're gonna drain these. Try not to splatter yourself like I just did. Sometimes when I wear my glasses and this happens, my glasses completely fog up. All right, that is good. Let's go over here. All right, and then you just add the pasta into the sauce and we're gonna mix it up. Sometimes my daughter will say, can you not mix it and just put it on top? but I always tell her, then that's not goulash. Now, let me tell you a little story about the word goulash. In America, or at least my family, but I do know other Americans, that when you say you're gonna have goulash for dinner, goulash to me means pasta, meat, and sauce, okay? It could be any kind of meat, it could be any kind of pasta, but that's what my mom used to call it growing up, goulash. Very simple meal with a unique name. Now, I have heard the actual word goulash is an actual dish from another country. But for my video's sake, this is goulash for me. My kids love it. It's the easiest meal. Uh, like I said, the only difference that I didn't do here was I didn't make my own sauce. But, but, it doesn't matter. It's still really, really good. And I had a busy day, so let's cut me some slack, right? Single mom here, guys, doing all this by myself. And these kids don't appreciate food, I'll tell you that. Like, Jack loves food, but I don't think they realize, like, 
all the cooking that has to be done. Like, and it's just us, you know? Actually, this is a lot. Guys, I'm going to have leftovers for like two days. And I hate to tell you, but my kids do not like leftovers. So, I might be giving some to the security guys tonight. I don't want it to go to waste. All right, so we're going to mix that up. That is good. Let's check our garlic bread.